We're back here today to answer the question. Luke, I am currently plat two, diamond two, maybe even champ two, and I know how to air dribble, flip reset, and musty flick, yet I can't rank up. And while if you're new here, I want you to like me, at the same time, the reason you guys come to my channel is because I tell the truth. And the truth is, all of you below Grand Champ watching need to learn the same thing. Look, I know you're special. I'm special. You're special. We're all different people. But in the world of Rocket League, you are not special. Because if you want to get to Grand Champ, there are a few things you need to train that you're not training. So today, we're covering 10. Yes, that's 10 free play drills you need to train. That's the plan today. I promise you, if you can actually hold out and pay attention, you will improve three times as fast as everybody else who's just spamming air dribbles below SSL. And as a bonus, after you watch this, you will now no longer be allowed to come into my Twitch chat and complain about not ranking up because you don't warm up and you just practice air dribbles every time. Let's get started. You know how I do things. Easiest drill first, hardest drill at the end. Let's go. All right, straight into free play. Starting top of the list, drill number one, the Scrub Killa Classic. Now I learned this drill when I first got into 1v1. I, I think I made a video called 100 games of rank 1v1 where I literally played 100 games of rank 1v1 straight. And during that challenge to get good, I would practice this drill that Scrub Killa made a video on. Basically, the drill is just tap ball off of kickoff, hook around it, power slide, flip into it. Now, this drill looks simple. And like I said, these drills are going to get more difficult as we go down the list. But you would be surprised. 90% of you watching, when you do this drill, your shot will look like this. You will like hit the ball to the side. And that is what you will do. You will rubber ducky the shot. So start with this drill. Don't think you're better than you are. Practice chipping the ball to the side once, slight power slide cut, watch my controller, and then finish with a barrel roll or a diagonal dodge. That way you get power and direction change on the shot and you can recover back around quickly. Drill number two, wall ball. Now drill number one was focused on hitting the ball hard off the kickoff. This drill is simply focused on hitting the ball hard with no care for direction. You're gonna hit it off the wall once, let it bounce, one, two, and then slam it off the wall again. Come around, let it bounce, one, two, whatever it is, hit it again. The real reason this drill is so good is because notice how it's helping me practice power slide. After you hit this ball into the wall, if you do this drill fast enough, you're going to have to do quick power slide turns to turn 180 degrees and be able to get the ball in time before it bounces back to you. Pay attention to my controller. Notice how when I'm power sliding, it's a tap and not a hold. So my power slide button, just for a little bit of context, is R1, which means after I hit this ball off the wall, I'm gonna drive back. Notice how I just intuitively tap power slide. That's how you get these crisp turns. You can practice going to the left a couple times, going to the right a couple times. Looks simple, but so is scoring open nets. Luke from the future here. You may be thinking to yourself, Wow, all these free play drills are great, Luke, but I'm bored. What if I want to rank up without all the boring training? I don't know the answer, but the sponsor of this video might. So thank you to the people over at the Grand Champ Bootcamp for sponsoring this video. This bootcamp is the only coaching program that has a group aspect. So everybody who joins does get 12 weeks of one-on-one -on -one training with a private coach. The even better part is that immediately upon enrolling, new players are connected with a network of over 3,000 other intermediate ranked players training inside the program. So if you're ranked anything between plat and champ, and you wanna go at this whole rank up thing with an actual plan, and maybe even better, a team, hit up the guys over at the Grand Champ Bootcamp, first link in the description below. DM them with the keyword team, and they can give you more details about how the whole thing works and back to the drills. Number three, 180 degree turns. This drill is that wall ball drill, except take out the wall ball and just focus on your car control. You simply spawn the ball on your car using the up command on your D-pad. And your goal is to get downfield and do that simple power slide turn to hit it before it crosses halfway 
half to, halfway down the field. Once again, it looks simple, but when you do this, you will hit the ball like this, and you'll be like, oh yeah, Luke, this is super easy, and then you'll go to power slide turn, and this is you. So remember, gentle. Less is more, boys. Looking at you. Taps go a long way. And that will get you not only through Rocket League, but even some sticky situations in college, if you know what I'm saying. Number four, flick circuit. So now instead of practicing 180 degree turns and working on a power side, we're just going to be practicing flick. Use the keyboard shortcut up to spawn the ball on your car. Put it on your car, flick away. And this is how you get good at flicks. You actually get reps in. This is how free play was meant to be used. So practice your front flip flicks for starters. Then we want to graduate into dribbling on an angle away from the net and using sideways flicks. Once again, that's dribbling on an angle. Diamonds, I'm looking at you. Sideways flick to flick it across the net. And then eventually we can practice our 45s. Spawn the ball on the car, flick, turn around on the car, flick, turn around on the car. Don't watch your shots. Don't tell mom to get the camera. Drill number four, flick circuits. Number five, I know this one's going to be scary, defensive drill. Instead of playing offense all the time in free play and spamming air dribbles, we're going to use the left command, that is left on the D-pad, to shoot the ball at our net while we drive towards it. So it looks like this. The ball's coming at your net while you drive towards it. And as you can imagine, this command is a great way to practice shadow save. So the ball comes at you. Instead of pressing left and practicing hitting the ball to your corner, clearing it to your corner with momentum, right? So ball comes at you, we're hitting it across to the corner. You recover into your corner, turn back around, face your net, ball comes at you, clear it. Level one is like, just learn how to like, kind of connect with it off the backboard and keep it in the corner. But like level two, once you get a little bit better, you can practice like kind of meeting it out in front of the net, right? And clearing it out. You can go above the net and shoot it. Right, so here comes the ball. I'm meeting it out here, clearing it to the side, right, to safety. You can go up the wall, put it on your net, catch it, jump down and get a 50. You can position like kind of to the side of your net here. So right, you're right here. Like you're kind of in this awkward spot where you'd like almost fall off the wall. Like you're right here. And you kind of got to clear it out. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. To make sure that you don't click off this video, we're going back number six wall shots. You'd use the left command to shoot the ball at you. If you go to the wall and you start climbing the wall here in free play, right? You can use the left command to simulate your teammate passing to you. Now, if you are below GC1, this may never happen in game, but getting comfortable off the walls is good. So once again, we're on the wall, left command, coming off of it, timing our, our shot with the ball. I, I don't have to tell you too much about why this is good, right? It's, it's basic wall shots you'd be surprised, right? This is just another thing you can do that's not air dribbles. Believe it or not, we've gone through six. Yes, six things without talking about air dribbles yet. But not to fear, number seven, ground to air dribbles. Since I know many of you are not gonna be able to help it, you're gonna go into free play and there's something deep down inside that makes you wanna air dribble. I don't know what it is. To be honest, I, I, I get it too. If you're gonna air dribble, do ground air dribbles. Everybody can do a cookies and cream, buttercup, wall to air dribble, oh, look at me, you know, clip it, whatever, right? What's much harder is putting the ball on your car and from the ground, popping this ball up and taking it down the field. That is much harder. And so what I want you to practice is go to your spawn, right? Just, just reset shot, spawn the ball on your car. And for level zero, you can just practice using the up and then right command to pop the ball in the air for yourself. So this is sort of a self-serve. Level one, you just practice self-serving yourself the ball. Up, right, right, as many times as you need to get the pop going. And then we're taking it downtown, slam it on. You can do one pop and take to the air and try to keep it up, right? And see how far you can get it down the field. As you get better, you can let it bounce. So it goes up, pop, wait till it drops bang and then you're taking it on the up bounce right you've probably seen pro players do this you may have seen me do it somehow i'm doing it point is if you're going to practice air dribbles or aerials don't be the guy you know who's doing aerial training packs you know with a ball like aerial where you're flying like this oh yeah you, you hit the aerial right that's not going to get you good aerial car control the way you get good aerial car control is not fast aerials it's ground air dribbles and 
being able to keep the ball up. Last tip on this, focus less on taking the ball far and just keeping it bouncing, right? Just don't let it fall. Don't let it pass this point of no return where it's going up. Notice how it's going up. Don't hit it before it gets on that down path. Drill number eight, you just saw me do. It wouldn't be a Spook Luke free play video without the hot potato drill. You might be wondering, Luke, wasn't this list easiest to hardest? And yes, it is. And this is one of the hardest drills you can do in free play. It might look simple, wrong. Go into free play and try to keep this ball bouncing without doing one of these. It's hard, really hard, especially as you go faster. So the, the faster you go, just the, the more difficult you can make this. The more aggressive turns you can make, the more difficult this drill will be. You can start going 180 and timing these bounces, but once you learn how to get first touches like this, Rocket League becomes easy because all the you know aerial mechanics that you want to go for that you can't because your first touches suck, well, once you learn how to do this hot potato drill, the ground to air dribble setups are free. If you can be as precise as to keep the ball bouncing just like this, you can easily do 180 turns, a vample flick, stop the ball on a dime, and now you're going back at the net. But it all starts with this. I know, right? Right? right are you still watching? You're not watching. You're practicing air dribbles. Number nine, goal posts. Believe it or not, some free play drills don't involve the ball. If you are in free play and you don't want to use the ball, one drill that's acceptable is goal posts. What are we doing? We're flying from goal post to goal post. Now, the reason this is hard is not because it's hard to stay in the air, although maybe it's hard to stay in the air for some of you. We've all been there. The way you make this drill hard is you practice landing inside or on the roof of the net. This is going to give you a good sense as to where that crossbar actually is. And it's going to get you comfortable flying upside down, left side up, right side up, right side down, get more comfortable using car control, using empty jumps, coming off the ceiling, coming off the inside of the net, squishy saves. That's why this drill is good. If you're going to do any car control drill in free play, this is passable. And uh, finally, the new drill that uh, I invented on stream as of 72 hours ago. We're calling this the Spider-Man drill. All right, something like that. Plot is you're Spider-Man, right? You're saving the ball. You need to get a bounce on the ball. So make the ball bounce a couple times so it's in the air using that right command. And then we're shooting the ball on the net. We're saving the ball off the backboard and then recovering back onto our back ball. Once again, that's saving the ball on the backboard, flying, recovering on the back wall. Saving the ball, getting back onto the backboard, okay? And the reason this drill is so important is because after you get a save on defense, it's not about the first save. It's about every save after. So you're saving the ball, you're landing on the backboard, recovering, and then using that reset jump to save the ball again. This is what separates good defense from great defense. Shot's coming again. You're coming off the roof. You're saving the day. You're a superhero. Spider-Man drill. That's drill. Now I told all the plats to go and train power slide cuts and all that stuff. And I am the only one in free play actually practicing air dribbles and flip resets. Part one of my evil plan is complete. Uh, ah, yes, the internet. Any, in any case, I should I should stop recording.